Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre, talking to you today about the Animal Amp V2 hooded winter wetsuit for 2012 into 2013. Um, the Animal uh, Amp range uh, we've been doing for the last few years has been very popular because it's a very cost effective wetsuit um, and uh, you get a lot for your money basically. Uh, the reason that we've stocked this particular suit this year, we're not doing the Amp V2 without hood, but we're very impressed with the uh, price point for this suit uh, and the amount of features that you get for a suit which retails for £149. It's fantastic, really. Um, primarily, it's a hooded wetsuit. You don't really get any other hooded wetsuits around this price bracket. You're paying usually around £200 plus. Uh, and this suit is also 100% ultra stretch, hyper, hyper stretch, whatever you want to call it, uh, ultra lightweight neoprene through the whole wetsuit. So, uh, as I said before, fantastic uh, amount of features for a suit which costs 150 quid. Um, so, to run through some of those features, then the first thing is to mention the actual neoprene on the suit. Um, usually, for £150, you expect, uh, with the sort of um, exception of the Quicksilver Synchro, um, you're talking, and the Guru, the only Guru, you're talking about suits which are comprised of two different types of neoprene, which is the um, cheaper BTN neoprene, uh, which is more um, coarse and less flexible, uh, and then the ultra stretch neoprene, usually in the upper body. But this particular suit is 100% ultra stretch, so you get that right from the bottom to the top. It gives it a huge amount of flexibility right the way through, right the way through to the top. Really comfortable, this suit will be, and really, really flexible. So um, it will give lots of uh, freedom of movement in the water. It will also stay to your skin and stick to your skin a bit better in all the nooks and crannies, uh, we, meaning that the suit will actually keep you warmer because that neoprene can stick to your skin and uh, do its job properly. Uh, the suit's uh, seams, as you would expect, are all sort of pre-bent to match the contours of the body and make sure it doesn't um, affect uh, flexibility through the suit. And also the GBS seams, so you can check that on the inside, basically stitched halfway through and then glued the other side to make sure that you don't get any water coming through the seams. So in fact, uh, it won't let any water in through the seams at all, uh, which is definitely vital for a winter wetsuit, especially in this country. Um, the suit is minimal panels, so you don't have too many seams running through the suits. Very nicely um, positioned seams, make sure they don't sort of, uh, restrict you in any way, shape or form. You don't get any of that liquid taping that you might do with a more expensive suit. But um, to be honest with you, a lot of suits are dropping that off anyway because it is quite restrictive. So depending on your sort of preference, that might not really be a big deal. Uh, this particular suit has the usual things like the Duraflex knee pads, stop the suit wearing through upon the knees, give it a longer shelf life. Smooth skin chest panel, stop the wind penetrating the suit, especially on cold days, and you get that front and you get that round the back as well. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, well, one of the key things, it's an inbuilt hood. Uh, it's a 3mm hood, I believe, and basically that will, uh, as long as it fits well, shouldn't let any water through the suit at all, stop flush throughs, and keep your head nice and warm as well. You've got the little toggle on the side just to sort of pull that straight, and you get the little visor just to keep out the rain as well. Okay, uh, the entry system, system on this particular suit is a chest sip. Um, much the same as most chest sips these days, you've got the sort of diagonal positioning to mean that any water that does flush in through the suit or if it tries to come up here, it's flushed out on a sort of diagonal basis basically. Um, getting the water out of the suit a little bit more efficiently. You get the YKK zip, a very effective zip, uh, waterproof, coated uh, teeth, and it stops the uh, zip corroding as well because it's built out of a non corrosive material so it won't seize up. If I move that back, you get a little panel of neoprene under there, again, just to make sure no water comes in through the zip. And under that, the actual neoprene on the suit is brought up nice and high, so if you have any flush throughs coming up the side, or even through the collar or through the hood, instead of going through to the actual suit, um, it drains out through here, and it drains out through the back here, you get through um, sort of drain holes to get the water coming out through there. Okay, so that's the usual thing you'd expect from a chest zip these days. Um, not the easiest things to get in and out of, especially when they've got a hood, but having said that, once you get the hang of it, it's not too tricky, and you actually get a, a lot of benefits from having a chest zip, uh, especially with a hood, obviously, because uh, you have an unbroken seal around the neck that so stops water flushing through, no zip on the back, which frees up the back panel and gives you a lot more movement through the suit. Nice little touches, like around the cuff, you get like a little bit of rubber taping there, just to seal the suit against your arm, stop it flushing up, and meaning that you get water rushing up your arm, and you get some of that around the leg as well. There's a bit of taping just to marry up with your boots a bit better or sit against your skin basically and create a better seal. If we delve inside the wetsuit and show you what's going on inside there, I'll give you an idea of what the best way is to get in through the suit. We do have a video on this to show you how to get a chest zip on and off nice and easily, but the best way to do it is basically turn it inside out so it's like a pair of trousers. It's easy to slip on and off. 
So on the inside of the suit, you can see all the uh, glued and blind stitched ev evidence there as well. So totally sealed, won't let any water in. Lots of taping here on the key stress points, just to give the suit a longer shelf life, make sure it doesn't pull, pull apart. Uh, and then, you might be wondering what this yellow material is. Basically, that's a thermal material. Uh, what that does, much like thermal underwear, it's a polypro material, it's non-absorbent, so it wicks water away from the body and it stops heat leaving your core. So rather than heat being lost through the neoprene gradually, this does a better job of insulating you, and much like thermal underwear, as I said before, just keeps that heat nice and close to your core. The most important areas to have that is around the core, around the chest and around the back, around the kidney area, just to make sure that um, all of your organs are nice and warm, because those are the things that are basically are going to make you cold if you're not, uh, you're not keeping them warm. Okay, get a bit of a funky, crazy um, animal colour neoprene on the inside, but unfortunately that doesn't actually do anything apart from look crazy. Um, the wetsuit itself is 543, so you get 5mm of neoprene on the lower body, a uh, nice bit of thickness to keep your core warm, 4mm under the arm, and then that goes straight into a 3mm on the arm when you need a bit more flexibility. So, essentially, this suit is really about a quality value hooded wetsuit for winter use. Um, for people that especially like the hooded wetsuits, and there's a lot of them out there. Um, so if you're looking for a suit which has got a lot of flexibility, um, very warm, with an in-built hood, for £150 you really can't go wrong with the Animal Amp V2.